P and KSE exam printing contract to a politically correct camp local company based on Mombasa Road in Nairobi. The government was advised that the Mombasa Road based company did not have the capacity to print the exams and also ensure its security and integrity, especially on such a short notice. Nobody would budge because there were kickbacks involved. We are aware that the Mombasa Road Company then had to outsource the exam printing services from a company based in India where the exams were printed in a hurry. We are also aware that the UK firm whose contract was cancelled declined to provide codes to the many layers of security that had been encrypted to safeguard the integrity of both KCP and KCSE. We believe this process of sudden change of printer, hacking the exam system and having them printed on a short notice are responsible for the disaster we have witnessed with respect to KCP. The situation was worsened by the fact that in return for kickbacks, the procurement for, for relaying the results to the public using the short code 40054 was also taken away from the regional provider and awarded on short notice and corruptly to a company that does not have the capacity to handle the same. This led to the mess when the results received expensively using the short code was different from the one on the Kenya National Examination Council portal and sent to schools. It led to what NEC has called misalignment of marks and grades. Grades in science and social studies, as well as religious studies, were truncated. The route saw the KCP candidates get graded for subjects they never set for. It saw an entire class score same grades in science in one school. The system deployed could not produce the plus and minus signs. What a shame. Consequently, for the first time in our country, some children are in court seeking to establish their true grades while the education ministry is admitting students to Form 1, including those still challenging the marks they were awarded. This impunity and corruption that is messing up the future of our young children is sanctioned from the highest offices in the land. We can today disclose that the mess in KCPE started as a tender war, a tender war pitting various senior officials in the Ministry of Education against each other before eventually being taken over by an official much higher up in government. The hunt for quick money has now taken the Kenya Kwanza entrepreneurs from petroleum products and edible oils to exams. It has messed up the 2023 KCPE and will likely find its way into KCSE whose marking is currently underway in a tense and uncertain environment. Over the decades, Kenya has had a reputation of a credible and trustworthy education system that culminates in very rigorous, fiercely competitive, but eventually credible examinations and certificates. Today, this respect for our education, in particular our exams, is under serious threat. Kenyans are very much alive to the challenges that have been facing the integrity of our exams in recent years. That is why our young people joke darkly whether their colleagues have 
profesor Jacob Caimenis, 